Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about Green Dot and more specifically, we're talking about how to activate your Green Dot Visa debit card. So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off, if you're not familiar with Green Dot prepaid debit cards, basically it is a debit card that you can purchase at usually a local pharmacy and they do charge a $1.95 to buy the card. Once you get the card, you do need to load it. A lot of times with prepaid cards, you do need to pay cash to fund the account. Once you fund the account, then you would need to go online to register this card and activate it. So that's what we're gonna do. First off, I'm gonna go ahead and open up this card now. All right, I went ahead and opened up the card. And next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and download the Green Dot app. You can also go to the website, but I'm gonna go ahead and download the app right now. All right, so I have an iPhone, and what you wanna do is go ahead and just type in the search bar Green Dot. I'm gonna go ahead and type that in now, Green Dot. All right, I went ahead and pulled up the Green Dot mobile banking, and I'm gonna go ahead and click Get. All right, it's downloading. All right, the green dot has finished downloading. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up the app now. If you don't have the app already, it's this green and white one right here. Be sure to check the video description. I'll try to leave a referral link there. All right, I went ahead and opened up the app and it's asking to send me notifications. I don't really like apps to send me notifications, so I'm gonna click don't allow. You can if you would like. All right, so here is the app right here. It kind of looks like a web page, but it is an app and it's pretty easy to activate your green dot prepaid card. What you want to do is right here on the home screen, you have two different options, have a new card, you can register it or a returning customer. So I'm going to go ahead and register a new card. I'm going to click there now. All right. So here I am on the registration screen and you can actually register a starter card, which is what I have here, or you can register a personalized card that'll have your name on it. Either way, you want to go ahead and enter the 16-digit card number for your Green Dot prepaid card, expiration date, and CVV number. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that in off screen now. All right, I went ahead and entered in the 16-digit card number along with the other security information. I'm going to go ahead and click Next now. All right, next it's coming up with my registration information. Now you do need to identify your real information because they will verify it. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that information in off screen now. It includes your first name, your last name, your address, phone number, email, social security number, date of birth, and then also you will be creating a PIN number. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that in now. All right, I went ahead and entered in my personal information here, and then I'm going to scroll right here to the bottom, and this is the terms and disclosures. You do need to agree to that. However, they have two different boxes. This one's for marketing, so that way they can text message you. I don't really like that, so I'm going to leave that unchecked. Next, they have this other box where you can check to see if you want to apply for something called the Green Dot Platinum Secured Credit Card. I don't really care about that, so I'm going to leave that unchecked and I'm going to click continue now. All right, next they are asking me to confirm the address that I placed into the information and it looks correct to me, so I'm going to go ahead and click continue now. All right, next they are saying that my mobile phone number must be verified and they will send a text message with a verification code and this is actually required. So, I'm gonna go ahead and click send code now. All right, so they went ahead and sent the code. Let me switch on over to my text message and enter that in now. All right, I entered the verification code. I'm gonna click submit now. It's processing. All right, next it's asking me to create a secure login. I'm gonna create that now off screen. All right, I went ahead and created a username and password and make sure that you follow the directions as far as what the password and the username should include. As long as all this turns green, go ahead and click continue. You can click remember my device and that helps lets them know that this is only your device, no one else's. I'm gonna go ahead and click there and then click continue. All right, now I'm registered. It's saying that my personalized debit card is on its way and it should receive that in five to seven business days. Until then, I have this one that I purchased at the CVS pharmacy. So let me go ahead and click on deposit money since I already loaded money onto this green dot. So I'm gonna click deposit money now. All right, so now it is asking me to log in with the user ID and password that I just set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter that in off screen now. All right, I went ahead and entered my username and password. I'm gonna click log in now. All right, since it is my first time logging into the app, it is asking me to send a code again. So I'm gonna click there now. All right, I got the text message from them. I'm gonna go ahead and enter the code that was texted to me now. All right, I went ahead and entered in the verification code. I'm gonna click submit now. All right, it's verifying. All right, as you can see, I have $20 in my Green Dot prepaid card because that is the amount that I had funded when I purchased this at the CVS pharmacy. All right, so now my card is fully activated and I can use this temporary card until I get the permanent card or at least the personalized card in the mail in five to seven days. So those are the steps to activate your prepaid Green Dot debit card. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up. And I hope to see you on the next one. Thanks again for watching.